Gary Turner's journey to finding love on The Golden Bachelor is coming to an end, and fans will soon find out who he gives his final rose to. Will it be Teresa or Leslie? Access Hollywood is taking a look back at some of the biggest moments from the inaugural season of the ABC series ahead of the highly anticipated grand finale. Gary first kicked off the show by emotionally opening up about his 43-year marriage to his late wife, Tony. You know, she became ill, and her situation got worse over a couple of weeks. And so we went to the emergency room, and she had a bacterial infection that infected her kidneys and infected her liver. And so I took my wife to the emergency room on July 7th. She passed away on July 15th. <laughs> Every time I look at that lake, I go, this is her dream. This is her, what she deserves. Why am I standing here alone? It will be six years since she passed away. No one's ever going to replace Tony. Grief became a central theme as many of the contestants, including Teresa, had experienced loss. During their initial one-on-one -on -one date, Teresa and Gary formed a connection over their past and shared hopes for their future. I married my high school sweetheart. Sound familiar? Mm -hmm. I married bit. my high school sweetheart, and we were married 42 years, and he passed away. Neither one of us thought this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. We thought we were going to live with our spouses for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Teresa's story was so similar to mine. All of a sudden, my emotion about my loss, I didn't feel like breaking down and crying for once. I felt like we're back to hopefulness about the future. Things continued to get emotional for Gary as the leading man started to make real connections, including one with Joan. But following a memorable one-on-one -on -one date, Joan had to leave to support her daughter. I think I need to go home and be a mom right now. <laughs> so as much as I don't want to leave, and I don't want to leave our journey, like, I gotta be a parent. And I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go home to my kids. And I... So I understand. I, I knew you I, would. I get it, I understand. But I can't tell you how disappointed I am. I was on, I was so excited this morning. I was out of bed dancing. Oh, um, I was thrilled that we had a conversation like we did. But there's a moral compass that we both share. Yeah. And, and sometimes the right thing to do is the hardest. Following Joan's heartbreaking departure, emotions remained high. Ellen confessed her feelings for Gary, but a few episodes later, he sent her home. Yours obviously was the most difficult decision. You put yourself out there like I asked and made yourself vulnerable. And I, believe me, did everything I can to make the right decision. I hope you stay positive because that's you. After Ellen left, Faith was then sent home following hometowns which wasn't an easy decision for Gary. Access Hollywood spoke with Faith after the heartbreaking split. Well, Faith, it is so wonderful to talk to you. We were so sad to see you go. Uh, before we get into it, how are you feeling having watched your whole journey back on TV? Oh my gosh, it, it, you know, it was difficult. I, I'm not gonna lie, it was really difficult. It's funny how you can be, um, you know, absent from that situation, but put right back into it and remembering it all when you're watching it, you know, just, um, yeah, it was it was a tough night for sure, but but a good one at Women Tell All, definitely. What was the toughest scene to watch back? You know, I think just I, you know, I the hometowns were such a special, special time. And just remembering, you know, I know in my mind standing there at the rose ceremony, wondering um, you know, which way it was gonna go and just feeling all that immense emotion, thinking. Um, who's he going to choose? And of course, I've mentioned this before, but I thought that, you know, he'd always had kind of an eye for Teresa. And so I thought, well, if Leslie gets the rose, I bet I'm going home. And when he gave the rose to Leslie, I, you know, I just thought, oh my gosh, he's choosing out. He's totally choosing out. And so, of course, then you don't want to cry right that second, you know, ball, thinking I'm going home. So I really felt in that moment, like, okay, 
and let me just get to the limo. Let me just get home and get the heck out of here <laughs> just before I come unglued. Um, but I think, you know, in that moment when, when I, when he chose Teresa after Leslie and I was going home, when I looked up at him, I did not see the Gary that I had known for the past month. I saw a total stranger. So that was the part that was very, very painful for me. I just felt so disconnected. Like I didn't get a chance to really, um, say goodbye to that person that I'd fallen in love with. So for women tell all, when I was able to actually sit on that couch with him and be able to connect with him in a really wonderful way and be able to have that closure, it just meant the world to me. It was really good. That's interesting that you say that you look up to Gary and he, he seemed different to you. What, what do you attribute that to? He did. Um, you know, I, I think he just, it was a hard decision for him too. And I think that that's, he, he knew that logistically or for whatever reason that we wouldn't be the best choice for sustainable long-term. And I think he had to make the decision and I respect that he's got wisdom in that area and what he needed, what would be right for him. And so I think he just sort of put up that wall. And even though I understood it, it was hurtful for me, you know, to not be able to see him and say goodbye. So I was so grateful that I got a chance to really say goodbye at Women to the Wall and have that chance to be with them and get closure. Um, what did you, uh, what answers did you need going, walking out of that rose ceremony that you got at the Women Tell All? You know, it's funny. I, I'm not really an answer person. I, whatever answers he had or reasons were totally fine. I didn't really even need to know answers. I just needed to reconnect with that feeling. I needed to feel that his heart was genuine. And when we got the chance to be together, I truly felt that it was, I understood it like without words. I didn't really need the words I needed to feel his hug. I needed to feel that heart connection. I needed to feel that it was okay to love him and him love me. And, and yet we could, you know, appreciate and support each other moving forward separately. Following the fantasy suites, Gary found himself more confused than ever, admitting his love for both women. And now we have arrived at the finale, which, according to the teaser, looks wild. I'm going to propose to the woman that I love and the woman that I want to start a whole new life with. It's the emotional season finale of The Golden Bachelor. This is going to be the epic day that I've gone through all this to enjoy. I took a really good person and broke their heart. I'm absolutely in love with your dad. If I was in the position where it wasn't me, it would be extremely difficult for me. He is the man of my dreams. I'm afraid that it might not be me at the end of this. You have two of us. It'll be a thousand percent or nothing. She says that she is there. What's your heart tell you? I think I made a mistake. The only time I've ever felt worse in my whole life is when my wife passed away. And this is a god close second. Had I known this would be how much pain I would cause someone, I would have never taken the first step in this journey. Join Access Hollywood's Lauren Herbert and her grandma, Linda Vandergeese, live right after the finale to recap the wildest moments on our YouTube channel and Facebook page.